Introducing the Polygon extension for SketchUp, which lets you easily import models and textures from Polygon directly into SketchUp for rendering with V-Ray. To start, click the link in the description and then download the Polygon SketchUp extension. Currently, the extension works with SketchUp Pro 2021, 22, and 23. To install it, go to Extensions, Extension Manager, and then click Install Extension. Then just select the extension file you downloaded from Polygon. Give it a moment to refresh the list, and then it should appear here. You will then see a small floating button, which if you're on Windows, you can drag to anywhere in your toolbar. If you're on a Mac, you can't dock it, but you can move it to the same spot. So let's say I'm working in a scene and I want to apply a concrete texture to this ground plane. I would first go to polygon.com, find a texture I like. I like the look of this one. I'm just going to hit download. Then I would locate the zip file that it's downloaded and extract it into a new folder. Then back in SketchUp, I'm just going to select the object that I want to apply my material to and then do a single click on the polygon button. This will now open up a file window where it's going to ask me, what do you want to import? So I'm going to go to that new folder that I've just unzipped my textures into, and then I'm just going to select one of these single texture maps and then hit open. It'll then ask you want to apply it to the object, say yes, and then it's done. So although this looks like it's only imported a single color map, if I go to my V-Ray render window, you can see as I move around, it's imported in the full material, the bump map, the gloss map, everything I need for a photorealistic image. Now let's say I want to import a model. Again, I would go back to Polygon, find a model that I like. Let's say I want uh, an armchair. This one here looks nice. So first in the software selection, important I download the SketchUp file, hit download. And again, I'm going to find that zip file and unzip it. Then back in SketchUp with nothing selected, I'm just going to do a single click on the Polygon button, navigate to that folder that I've just unzipped to, and then instead of clicking on a texture map, I'm going to do a single click on the SKP file. Now it's asking me where do you want to drop it. So I just do a single click and now it's imported. Also quickly worth mentioning, if you don't want to click the polygon button, you can also just drag and drop the SKP file directly into SketchUp and it'll work the same way. Now, if you leave this open, you can see that V-Ray is doing something in the background there. And let's just zoom in on it so we can see what's happening. So what this has done is you can see over here on the left-hand side, we've got a low res proxy model, which is important so that SketchUp stays fast and fluid and doesn't crash on us, but that at render time, it replaces this proxy model with a high res version just for rendering. So V-Ray only sees the high res model, but then SketchUp viewport only sees the proxy low res model. If it's still not working for you and maybe you're still seeing the proxy render over here, it's probably because you're on a Mac. And unfortunately, outside of our control, the only way to resolve this on a Mac is after you import a model, you just have to go extensions, polygon, and click auto resolve paths. And it will then find all the files, connect them together, and it'll work. The other thing you'll be glad to see is that if you've got an object with multiple components like this chair here, all I would have to do is double click on it. And then you can see I can select each of those components one by one, make some changes to them, move them around, hit escape, go back out, and you can see that it's reflected in my viewport render. So fast, easy importing, keeping it lightweight for your viewport and realistic for your render in V-Ray. Thanks for watching.